I'm really interested to see how you get on with module two mm. because I think the meditation piece is, yeah. is an important part of this. I think it's not that meditation alone is going to fix all of this, mm. but it goes back to what I was saying a little bit earlier that it's like we get conditioned to certain patterns or certain ways of thinking. Mm. And meditation does a few things. Firstly, what you're doing is you're learning just to calm your system and that's helpful. Like the anxiety exists at a certain level of thinking and if we can tr kind of train your system to be calmer, that's helpful. Yeah. But the other benefit of meditation, and I, and I, I lean on this quite heavily in, in, in module two, is that part of what you're doing is you're, you're recognizing your thoughts and then you're bringing your attention back to your breath and to your breathing and to your arms and your mm. legs and kind of being in your body. Mm. So what you're learning to do is to loosen your grip on your thoughts. Mm. So whereas, particularly with a pattern of anxiety like this, you have a thought, then you get gripped by another thought and another thought, and it mm. becomes a kind of sequence of thinking. And there isn't much of a sense of choice with that. Mm. It's a kind of an automatic process yeah. that happens. By default, what you're learning to do when you're learning to meditate is that you're recognizing a thought, you're noting I'm having a thought about this, mm. but rather than continuing that chain of thought, <clears throat> you're bringing your attention back to your breath. Mm. So you're learning to, to dissociate a sort of loaded work, but, but you're learning to, to loosen the grip. Yeah. You use that yeah. word, loosen the grip that those thoughts have yeah. on you. Yeah. And on one hand, it's a very simple practice. I'm having a thought, right, I'm not going down that path, bring my attention back here. But it's not an easy practice, mm. but it is a reconditioning of those neural pathways. It is mm. a rewiring of rather than just the kind of habituation of that thinking, you learn a practice that I can notice right now. I'm, I'm using this coping strategy or that coping strategy. And actually what I need to do is bringing my attention back into my breath and my breathing. Yeah. That's a very helpful piece of a bigger jigsaw of, of pieces for us to work with. Mm. Um, so I think getting into module two will be really helpful. Mm -hmm. 